from the command center JW Solar USA. On today's video, I will just want to give you a close look at my system, which is system review here, uh, right at Minnesota. This is my setup and this is my entire system. And I hope you like, subscribe, and share. So this is what I have here set up for my home, for my off-grid solar home. And uh, you guys can see where we're going to start. Uh, I want to start with all my fans, all my Outback fans. Woohoo! We are back. You guys can see the Outback is back on its position. So, trying to defend its title from the Magnusine Magnum Energy. The Outback Power this is a 48 volt inverter charger made by Outback and you guys can see specs on the corner the FX3048MT mobile version and here is the Magnusine Magnum Energy alright these are all American products made in USA alright you can see Magnusine is the see here and if you can see it uh, it's right there the MS 4024 inverter charger 30 amp you can see uh, 30 amp on the outback and guys this is the system and um, I just want to show you how everything is here at night Quick glance, I have my uh, little switches over uh, monitors over there. I haven't turned them on for quite a while. But um, I, like I told you in my previous video, the board is kind of a little bit uh, sketchy, messy. So I have to do some paint work and uh, trying to fill up all those little holes you guys see. And if you come down here, this is my... I uh, labeled it before for the Outback. I said Outback Inverter AC Breaker Box. This is my main breaker box to power the house. The inverter comes in here all the way, break it all the way out to the house. The breaker's in there. And if you come down here, you will see my temperature sensor monitor. This is just for the box for the batteries. So I have 77.8 degrees Fahrenheit inside the box. Okay. All right. Right here is for my um, midnight solar uh, lightning arrestor. This is the uh, midnight solar 300 volt lightning arrestor, 300 volt DC. This is just for the batteries for the DC part. And I have to install one more for the AC part of it, and um, and so that I can able to get from the PV side. This is for the uh, for the DC side for the batteries coming to DC from solar, and I have to install one of them is for the um, AC going to my breaker box. One of them probably gonna be on the corner right there. And down here, you guys can see, is my um, uh, Outback Mate 2. And this one control this device right here, just like um, the Outback. So, uh, just like the Midnight Solar. Alright, so I have my Mate which is here, see that? The Outback Mate 2, and I have the Magnusign remote, the MEARC50. Those are the remote that controls these machines. And so that Mate, that Outback, they're all connected to the hub right there, the Outback hub you see that there's a five channel it's just like when you have a router that's how it works so they're all connected there <clears throat> so the output 
from from all the inverter and the charger comes here and display it. You can able to program everything. You program your charge controller, program your your inverter charger from that mate. Okay? So the FlexMax 80 connected to the hub and um, the Outback FX3048 connected to the hub up there and there's an output which is the yellow cable all the way down to the mate okay goes to the mate so that's how it's connected so if you have more than two or three machines or five machines because the hub is it can take five so if you can see I only have three um, two devices plugged there the black and yellow and the other one is the output you can see uh, first I don't know if you can see that. See first, second, you see that they're all the numbers all the way to five. They have other ones that are already <clears throat> 10 channels. So that means you can able to uh, monitor up to 10, maybe two or three inverter chargers and you have three whatever uh, charge controllers. So they can go there, everything works right on the mate down there so you can able to program anything instead of going around monkeying around with the charge controller changing stuff you know it just makes everything easier so that's how everything works same as the um magna sign the magna sign magnum inverter the ms40 ms yeah 4024 this is the same thing so these guys connected the the charge controller is connected to the inverter down there and the, the temperature sensor is all connected down there instead of the mate over there sorry the hub for the outback everything has to connect to the hub and go to the remote for magnum magnum makes it um easier so through the char the inverter that's why you plugged everything, your temperature sensor, your, your, your mate, oh, sorry, your magnum, uh, uh, um, um, uh, sorry, remote right there. And you have a temperature sensor in that thing, plus the BMK battery monitor kit. Everything plugs down on the uh, magnum. For the Outback, they have everything connected to the hub from the hub it distributes to the meter so everything routed for the magnum everything connected in there and display to that monitor right there so this is how the system is set up and this gray box here is for my grid where I can flip the switch the breaker that brings the uh, power so that I can able to um, charge my batteries right there you can see the blue seal breaker that's for the inverter which is the the, the magnum and there's another one in the command center right there um, for the outback so this is the system I have here I hope you like um, just trying to show you guys and all my fans for outback fans we are back on business your um, inverter is up not yet running big plans big plans for them big plans for the outback is coming soon big plans for the outback which is um, coming soon I'll be I'm gonna be doing some announcements for the outback the FX 3048 3 kilowatt 48 volt so I want you guys to stay tuned for that all my outback fans and all the um, my magnesine magnum fans uh what happened right there one guy is missing which is the midnight classic 200 is out what i'm doing right here folks i just want my system to be all the same i want to get all outback product i want to get all magnesine product if um um
So if um, midnight is gonna come up with something with the inverter, then I will able to get um, the uh, midnight up. But so far so good for now. Um, I just wanna leave it like it is. I wanna make sure that I have all the machines up here, they are, they are all in pairs. They work together and they're gonna be talking together and uh, you guys know that uh, the, um, the XW6048 is still waiting for a few things. Uh, you guys seen the monitor is already in, the inverter, is here, the inverter I have. And I just want to get the back plate so I can be able to hang the uh, entire system. But guys, this is my system. And I just decided to do a quick review for you guys. And my battery bank is, is down here. Oh, one more thing before going. Here, I still have my uh, battery extra, the sulfiter. So this is the X02-12-220. So it goes to 12 volt. It can do uh, from 12 to 120 volt uh, battery bank at 800 amp hours. So... Yeah, check that out all of this stuff. I have videos for them and you can able to see exactly how everything works and um, what I already said about them. But um, to be honest with you, I like my system the way it is. And but you tell me what you think. Well, for me, I think I'm all right. I'm good with these machines here. Um, the odd back is not on right now, but the, um, the charge controller is on which I'm gonna be uh, incorporating stuff, like I said, something coming up soon for the Outback, which I, um, I will announce uh, probably ending of this year or maybe early next year. So while we're gonna be switching back to um, the 48 volt um, system, but uh, I'm gonna be trying to run this uh, device simultaneously. So if you're just tuning in and um, you have never been a subscriber, I encourage you to subscribe, like, and share. This is my system, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a quick, um, um, a quick review for you guys. Oh, back here to the command center, you see these meters. I can able to tell the battery bank, but um, for some reason, these meters are not accurate. So I'm not using this meter for any um, to tell me what's going on because right now it's really like the battery bank is uh 40 24.9 which is not accurate so if you look at here that's for the pv coming in so it reads from the uh the solar ray and gives me all the analysis what's coming in uh many kilowatts i made so if you look right there we just missed that it was 25 point supposed to be 25.3 or 25 point something so folks um everything seems to work perfectly and i uh, just want to share with you guys i uh, hope you find my system interesting and um i'll talk to you guys back later thank you i'm still hanging on to um the magnum power track performance pt100 but up to now i haven't got any sun the sun yesterday came out but i wasn't here i was at work i was working so i didn't have a chance to see what was going on and um one of these days if uh, we um it happens we happen to have any good weather before the snow started falling then i'm going to be showing you um what the pt100 is doing or if we, we are not lucky but uh, maybe summer next year or early spring you guys will see the performance and i will tell you much about it what i've learned about it and how everything works okay well that's it Right here from the Command Center JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. Thanks for being part of my channel. And shout out to all my subscribers. 
all of my subscribers if i don't want to call names right now but i'm going to be making a video for another shout out all over the world all over the world because i love you guys and you guys are part of my channel and thanks for being part of this channel since the day i started if you're one of the subscribers thank you i want to thank you and thank you and thank you this is my channel and this is my setup and two Inverter chargers by big companies Outback and Magnum. So thank you and thank you and thank you. Love you guys all. Bye for now. Subscribe and share, like, all the good stuff. Bye for now.